What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Friday edition of the Virus Update for Friday, October 11th, 2024. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that could be a health threat to you. But the big one we talk about is COVID. We talk about COVID here each and every video. And let me tell you, if you did not know this, here's some facts for you. COVID's still killing people. It's still hospitalizing people. It's still disabling people. And people left and right are still testing positive for COVID. Now, we're in a little bit of a law now. Levels have come down big time. But soon enough, another wave is going to be coming. The winter wave, which seems to be the cream of the crop each and every year. The worst wave of the year. The ones that impact people around holidays. You know, waves that can be prevented, but here we are. We're going to do another wave within about a month or so. Things will be rising once again, and you need to be informed with what's going on. The media doesn't do that. The government doesn't do that. I will be the one that's here on YouTube telling you, hey, the new wave's starting to set in. Start protecting yourself once again. Stay safe because you know this virus can go on to cause long-term symptoms and long-term illness. Alrighty, let's do just that. Let's keep you informed. But first off, if you're new, subscribe down below. Give this a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. And of course, leave your comments down below. Alrighty, starting off here in California. We have just a few news stories today in California. In the Bay Area, a lot of hospitals are going to be doing a mandate again. A lot of healthcare facilities will be doing a mandate again for masking. Why? Because we're starting to learn the impact that COVID can have on a person. High-risk people, even perfectly healthy people, go on to develop long-term illness, long-term symptoms. It just makes sense. Plus, other respiratory illnesses are going to be coming into play soon. So why not? Let's try and protect as many people as possible. Hey, listen to that in the background. I hear an ambulance. Yep, I'm telling you, the pandemic's not over. We'll take a look at Philadelphia EMS calls in just a little bit. All right, whooping cough. NPR is now on the whooping cough issue. It says worst U.S. whooping cough outbreak in a decade has infected thousands. Yes, we've been talking about this. I said it yesterday. 16,000 cases this year in the United States, more than four times as many compared to the same time last year. And they keep using this narrative out there that, oh, well, it's because we had the shutdowns back in early 2020 from COVID. No, it's not because we had the shutdowns. COVID is impacting immune systems. Immune systems are becoming weakened, so people are catching viruses more easily. Um, it's hitting them harder. Viruses are spreading more easily because more people are becoming infected. It's, it's something we need to wake up to reality. We need to wake up to the reality that these viruses are happening more frequently because more people are catching these viruses because COVID is weakening immune systems. And when an immune system is weakened, any little thing you come in contact with, you come infected with. And if you become infected, well, you can infect other people. All right. In case you did not see it yesterday, the UK this week did have a slight increase in weekly COVID cases. It was 2,912. That was up by 78. Deaths were down 128, down by 7. Healthcare. 2,622 patients admitted. That's up by 149 or 6%. We will have our weekly look at Italy in the next video, which will either be tomorrow or Sunday, one of the days this weekend. I don't think we're going to get to be doing the video, which is why we're going to take a look at some wastewater sites today. But who knows? If it turns into a busy news day, you will see videos this uh, weekend. I mean, that can happen at any given time. Remember last Saturday? was a busy news day. All right, taking a look at what's going on with pollen levels. I need to refresh this. National allergy map. 62% of the country is in low to medium status. There's a lot of green on this map. I'm not really concerned. Uh, just some orange down in the south. That is about it at this time. All right, we need to take a look at air qualities. They continue to be a problem in places dealing with wildfires, which does cover a large real estate. Wyoming, the elk fire. That's now up to 100,000 acres burned. Take a look here in 
the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, all these bad air qualities you see, it's because of the wildfires. And you can see here in the east, while not as bad, you don't have to travel too far west. You get to about the Mississippi River and you start seeing problems. The air is in the clear in the east. And I should uh, tell you that if you're anywhere in the northern states tonight, you can potentially see the northern lights again tonight. There is opportunity for that. Alrighty, I have to show you my other accounts, not just here on YouTube as well. I do have another account. It is Climate Data Report over on X. But my other YouTube channel today, I did post a video. I haven't done that in a while. I'm going to try and get to videos as needed. So maybe it'll be once a week or maybe a couple times a week. And when the weather warrants me to do a video, I will try and get back to doing one on that channel. It's not going to be daily. I can tell you that much right now. All right, Philadelphia. On Wednesday, they had 854 incidents. And on Thursday, we will get Thursday's number, yeah, 847 EMS incidents. And we do know there's at least one for Friday because I just heard an ambulance a couple seconds ago. And that's not the first ambulance I heard today. So... We'll have to see what the Friday number ends up being. I got a feeling it's not going to be a good number because the birds have been really busy today. Take a look at this. Montgomery County right now has 16 incidents. And wow, look at all these vehicle accidents. That's never a good thing either. But you can see here, respiratory emergency, abdominal pains, cardiac emergency, multiple seizures calls. Yeah, things are going on. And in Chester County, let me fresh, refresh this to make sure it's up to date. We do see a couple sick person calls. There were a ton of sick person calls earlier today, and there were a ton of respiratory calls earlier. That's not a good thing. We also see a couple heart problem calls. Not something we like to see. Up in Canada, let me refresh this to make sure it is up to date. The viral activity level for COVID is listed as moderate. Earlier in the week, it was high. Now it's back to moderate. Flu A is low, not detected for flu B, and RSV is in the low category at this time. Walgreens, the national positivity trend is 18.4% for COVID. So that is coming down. It's down by 3.4%. The prior week was 21.8%. And total tests, 6,492. The prior week was 7,788. All right, I think we're going to go to wastewater next. We'll just take a look at a few wastewater scan sites. Then we'll do the new CDC data. Then we will do those notes that I look at with uh, that do have several states for today. All right, starting off here on the national level, and we can see here in the northeast for COVID and in the Midwest, COVID is still in the medium category. There was an update from wastewater scan on X. I'm saving that for the weekend. We'll share that with you either tomorrow or Sunday if we do an update. We'll have to see. I am going to be busy working on Sunday and I'm going to be a little busy tomorrow as well. So we'll see what happens. But taking a look at the national levels here, we can see here COVID. It is continuing to drop. RSV, it's rising. No, it's not rising straight upward. That's a wonky movement, but it is rising somewhat. Influenza A is low. Influenza B is low. HMPV is low at this time, and norovirus has gone up slightly. And we can see here the other viruses aren't much of an issue. Let's take a look at a few individual wastewater sites. Here's one in Gainesville, Texas, where I'm seeing COVID is listed as high. Oh, what is going on here? Take a look at this. This just caught my eye. I like to do that spontaneously. Just click on sites during the video sometimes. And wow, I have not uh, known about this. In fact, I'm going to make an X tweet about this afterwards. COVID here is just suddenly going up once again. RSV is relatively low. Influenza A, influenza B, not much of an issue. HMPV is low at this time. And neurovirus is also low at this time with not much in the way of issues for hepatitis at this time. All right, moving on. I would take a look at some more wastewater sites, but we actually do have a lot of things to get through yet. So we'll take a look at some more wastewater over the weekend. Epidemic status for COVID, which just updated. And we're not seeing anywhere growing or likely growing. And we are seeing a few places that are not changing. California, New Mexico, Colorado, Alabama are not changing. Likely declining. Several states are likely declining. And our declining is listed as many states as well which is some good news at this time. All right, drum roll, please. Here we go. The new variant data update, which just came in today, shows KB 3.1.1 is at 57.2%. XEC is at 10.7% now. 
the old KP 2.3 variant from back in the summertime is at 7.8 percent LB.1 is at 5.8 percent KP.3 is at 5.7 percent MC.1 is at 3.6 percent and KP.2 is at 2 percent at this time taking a look at emergency department visits apologies I do need to refresh this I've been waiting for this to update all afternoon has it actually updated it looks like it may have updated the point is not much has changed I mean we're, the trend continues is what I'm trying to say we're continuing to rapidly drop for emergency department visits that my friends is some really good news and I do hope this continues as we head into the rest of October eventually we're going to buck that trend and it will reverse when the next wave starts we're just not seeing that right now trust me I'll be letting you know I'll be raising the alarm when the new wave does start all right taking a look at what's going on with flu levels we can see nowhere in the United States and I mean nowhere including District of Columbia Washington DC Puerto Rican for Virgin Islands, nowhere is reporting anything above minimum levels for flu at this time or influenza-like activity, which is really good. The only place that is getting close to those low levels now would be New Jersey, Indiana, and Connecticut. Everywhere else is doing just fine, and everywhere is doing fine. This will start to continue in just a few short weeks as we head into even colder weather and remember minimal is the lowest level on this map all right let's take a look at what's going on in new jersey for today if we can looks like new jersey has froze on us i am seeing new jersey today the hospitalizations are at i believe 272 there we go 68 out of 70 hospitals reporting six people on a ventilator and in the icu at this time we do note that that number is at 31 and the number of discharges at this time now it looks like this this site has been freezing there it is 41 discharges at this time all right let's go over to new york state after we do new york state we will take a look at some notes all right in new york state 876 positive cases reminder new york state probably will not be updating on monday because of indigenous people day formerly known as columbus day this is indigenous people day weekend i guess you call it now and taking a look here new york state hospitalizations continue to drop 760 people in the icu at this time is at 72. all right let's take a look at some notes now well some data from cjs 83172 but before we get to that i have to remind you it is indigenous day people weekend that'll be on monday and leaf peeping is going to be a big thing in the northern colder states this weekend please make sure you are social distancing if possible i've seen the map some places like vermont just you know the resort towns are just absolutely cram packed with people jam packed cram uh please be safe if you're going to these areas this week all right some data now from cjs 83172 daily weekday reporting states florida 224 new cases and 35 new deaths new jersey 437 new cases new york 1081 new cases per the state's case open data page as the new york dashboard didn't update yesterday and we noted that as well puerto rico 232 new cases and two new deaths weekly reporting states connecticut 1044 new cases and 22 new cdc reported deaths for the thursday provisional deaths update washington dc four new cdc reported deaths alaska 128 new cases and four new cdc reported deaths Georgia added another 1,212 new cases and 15 new deaths. Iowa, an estimated 301 new cases and 21 new CDC reported deaths. Kentucky, 750 new cases and 29 new CDC reported deaths. Massachusetts added 1,557 new cases and 18 new deaths. Minnesota added 1,823 new cases and 16 new deaths. North Carolina, 431 new state reported hospitalizations and 33 new cdc reported deaths nebraska 388 new positive tests and 11 new cdc reported deaths ohio as i mentioned in yesterday's video 2912 new cases and 31 new deaths oklahoma 
Wow. 22 new CDC reported deaths. Utah, 491 people added to their living with COVID tab and four new deaths. And Vermont, come on, Vermont, 218 new cases. And they added yet another eight new deaths. That's just a total terrible uh, death number that they're having up there. I mean, they're one of the lowest death counts in the country. I'll give them that. But this wave has hit them particularly hard. So I do thank CJS83172 for um, this data. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you provide this and I can share this within the videos. Taking a look at Los Angeles, their cases are dropping, testing is dropping, wastewater at this time is dropping, their emergency department visits. Yeah, what can I say? Things are doing really well. Uh, deaths are still up there. And I should note, nationally, I think this will be another week where the United States gets at to or just over 1,000 new deaths. Taking a look at California. COVID-19 deaths at this time. They're dropping, which is good. And the positivity rate for COVID is 5.6%. That's down by 0.4%. And influenza deaths at this time are low. Influenza test positivity rate, it is coming up a little bit, 1.6% at this time. Finally, today, ending with my website. Uh, not much to show you here. I'm going to hopefully at some point this weekend... I uh, get caught up on several things. I have another browser window that is just full of things that need to be added. I've been alerted to uh, several recent positive COVID cases. I think there's about four of them. I found a few more previous ones. That list is really long. At some point, I'm going to get to spending several hours working on this site. And I can tell you something. There is going to be something that may be changing down the line. See how we have the dates here with celebrities and famous people who have died of COVID. See how that's separated? I think at some point in time, sports figures, that may actually get separated into sub, uh, you know, subsections and potentially political figures as well, but more so sports figures. We might actually go right down to the individual sport because I'm finding a lot of past uh, sports cases that need to be added. Of course, there are dozens. No, let's uh, be serious here. I think there's well over a hundred to maybe even a couple hundred U.S. political figures that I have not added from the start of the pandemic. Maybe they will get categorized from governors, senators, Congress people. You get the idea. Alrighty, folks, my website is datareport.info. You can look up studies. You can look up past people who have had COVID. It's meant to become an archive of all this information. So it's documented in time what is going on with COVID and all those other viruses. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, of course hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and leave your comments down below. Let me know, is there something you would like to see different over on my website? I mean, we finally did fix that ad issue, you know, where the ad would just overtake the whole screen. That was annoying to me, and I know it was annoying to you. I will see you again next time, which will either be tomorrow or Sunday, hopefully tomorrow. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, have a fantastic weekend, and thanks for watching. See you all again next time. Bye-bye for now.